Yo, what's up? It's your boy Walter Emmanuel Jones, also known as Zach, the original Black Ranger. Hey! Hi, it's Amy Jo Johnson, Kimberly Pink Power Ranger. Hey, this is David Jost, the original Mighty Morphin Blue Power Ranger. And you're watching the fan club. And you're watching the fan club. Do you know what time it is? It's time for the fan club. Let's go! Hey! Is Hasbro intentionally tanking the brand and scamming people? No! Man, the internet is crazy. So, like, you go down a rabbit hole of, like, comments and videos, and there is, like, a good collective of people that actually think that Hasbro is tanking this brand on purpose. And there's even a few videos using the word scamming people, and I just... I had to make a video to say, hey, as a businessman, I understand what is going on. I don't know everything, just like everybody else, because we are in the dark. They're not letting us know about the next things going on or what happened, but we can create some good guesses and some fan theories and talk you through what is happening with Power Rangers. Now, to start that, we got to take it back. What, four or five years ago is when Hasbro first got the toy department, basically. They got the toys, and then what, six, seven months later, they got all of Power Rangers, right? Saban worked out a deal, ended up selling Power Rangers over to Hasbro, and it was an exciting time. But at that time, there was no way that they were going to change every single thing about Power Rangers. It just, it wasn't going to happen, okay? And I was okay with that. I understood that they kind of had some deals in play that they had to stick to for a few years. But then as time goes on, they're going to start building this thing their own way. They're going to start building their own Megazords, if you will. They're going to create their own powers. They're not going to to just fall into the way that it's been for 30 years because if they continue to do this I don't believe that Power Rangers is going to be here for a very long time why did Saban sell the brand if it was doing so great that is the first thing I want to ask people that think that this this brand can be a billion dollar brand right now we have a lot of people out there that feel burned from Power Rangers in the last 10 years and a lot of it has to do with the Neo Saban era and Hasbro has to come in and be the bad guy and cut a lot of deals that just don't make any sense right away they did that they were cutting off a bunch of deals even to you know I bring up Nickelodeon the Shout Factory deals now there's plenty of those DVDs still out there so that's not something that really concerned the fans because they got most of of the old seasons out you can go on walmart.com amazon and still buy them they are still available and not very expensive i was looking at time force the other season the other day it was under 15 bucks like you can go out and get these still but they cut that deal off with reproduce it anymore because they looked at the numbers and they're not really making any money off the dvd sales anymore like they used to 10 15 20 years ago correct now they're going into a new wave i mean they put all of the power ranger episodes on youtube so they have control over the episodes and netflix does it netflix has their exclusive stuff but then you have to go to their exclusive page on youtube and give them the money and the view directly they are trying everything to be as independent as they can with this ip and we have to remember that power rangers was dying under the neo saban era when they took over they took over a brand that was dying and stabilized it it is an emerging brand and they want to make this get big. They put it on the level of G.I. Joe. They think Power Rangers and G.I. Joe 
are their action brands. These two brands that they really like and they have fans, but they could be more than what they are right now. If you continue to do the exact same thing, I'm telling you, it is not going to work. Hasbro will lose more money and they will have to sell the brand in a few years. Now, once and always showed that the fans will always show up for Mighty Morphin. So that is something to keep in mind and the reason why you will always see Mighty Morphin every year that there's Power Ranger stuff out in some capacity because it sells. Then we're going into a new era with the way that Hasbro wants Power Rangers to be. And when you look at these other IPs and brands that they have, when I watch the new Rise of the Beast movie, I just would love to see a Power Ranger movie like that. It would be freaking insane. And there's a few YouTubers out there that are saying they're scamming the fans and stuff like that. The way that it is set up is a way that it was very successful for years, but Power Rangers is not doing what they used to. Yes, they could stay alive and do the same thing, but eventually that is going to give out. It is just a way of life where Power Rangers doesn't hit the way that it used to. People don't really know about these new seasons like the fans do. And we need to switch it up and make something more mainstream. I believe that if you make something that the people like, they can use that money and put it into other projects and other risks, if you will. You have to take some risks in life, but also find what people actually like. I mean, I've been saying for years, make a CGI preschool show like Spidey and his amazing friends. Would that be my favorite show? No, but it would make some money. It would introduce the new generation to old generation Rangers. You could bring back so many characters because it's animated and you could teach all the young kids out there about Ranger history and it would be fun, right? You make a show like that for kids, it makes a bunch of money. Now you can take that money and throw it into something else. Power Rangers at this point is a project that not everybody wants to risk it all for right now. And do you blame Hasbro? They have a bunch of other good IPs that are holding them up. See, the, the cool thing about Hasbro is they can hold on to Power Rangers and take a year or two off and their business is not going to be affected too much. And some people say could say that's a bad thing. I say it's a good thing because with Saban, they could never take a year off to assess and to figure out what in the hell they're trying to do. Uh, they had to every year make Power Rangers because that's what was paying the bills. That was the only thing that was really making them a bunch of money at Saban. And it wasn't paying the bills like it used to. Power Rangers at one time in its early wave was probably a billion dollar company in its first two, three, four years. And then things started to go downhill. And there are a lot of different reasons for it. We always felt like the Neo Saban era was holding on to the past too much. Now Hasbro comes in and says, we understand that we're gonna change everything up. And now they're scamming the fans. Like, I don't know, we, we've got to shift on what we want. We have to make up our minds. Um, I see a lot of contradictions. Like we, we want them to keep it the same way, but then we don't want them to use the Zords or we do want them to use the Zords, but then there's fans that are mad that they didn't use the Q Ranger suits. There's so many elements to it. Hasbro saying, you know what? With this try, we're going to do something a little bit different. And I believe they're still going to make some kids content. They're still going to be able to put some stuff out there. And the other thing that I keep going back to is we are in a writer strike right now. We're in an actor strike right now. And it is a weird time. I mean, Power Rangers has been hit with roadblock after roadblock when it comes to this Jonathan Entwistle project. I mean, when they announced it, we we're in the middle of the pandemic. That went on a little bit longer than we thought it was going to affect, you know, the entertainment industry. And then we hear that a script got scrapped. 
We don't know if there was a second or third script, what, you know, version they were on there, but we do know that at an investor call, there was an impairment with Power Rangers. There was something kind of behind the scenes that they never told us what happened, but Power Rangers was in the red for last year when they should have been in the green. The sales and the toys and all the numbers added up to them making a profit last year and for some reason they did not make a profit and they called it an impairment it's something going on behind the scenes i think it was a canceled project a lot of fans believe that something was canceled i do too it might have been a movie it might have been a tv show it might have been a bunch of things i mean i had a fan theory for a while just thinking about what if Cosmic Fury and Once and Always wasn't always the plan? What if they had the movie or whatever planned for this year? Because you got to remember, in 2020 is when they started it. Three years to make a movie, I think that that's more than enough time. I think the original plan was in 2023, the 30th anniversary. That is when you drop the first part of this universe. And it couldn't happen. You had the pandemic. You had a bunch of other things. And i think that you know semi got canceled maybe some of that will pop up someday but something was being worked on and it got pushed back canceled we don't know but then they came in with once and always a quick you know six week shot special they were able to you know get that out within four or five months after shooting i feel like it wasn't even that long like they shot it and then within six months tops it was out on the market like once and always was quick and then you had cosmic fury which was only 10 episodes so how long did that even take was that just two three months to shoot that not much at all so yes they came in there with we're gonna do two things and they're gonna be smaller projects but you're gonna have two times in 2023 that you get power rangers and they had to double down you weren't just gonna push out anything on the 30th anniversary you had to put something out right so something got canceled behind the scenes i think there's way more of it than meets the eye i know that's a transformer reference but it's real we don't know what's going on i just do not believe that you're going to spend hundreds of millions of dollars to grab this brand and to shove it into the ground you're gonna buy it to just shelve it what you're gonna buy it to intentionally make it drop no power rangers showed it made some money they had an impairment behind the scenes but they admitted to that they said by our own doing we messed this up so they kind of you know let people know power rangers was successful and it is an emerging brand like they call it it is not their top threshold brand yet i understand that the fans understand that but because we understand that we have to realize that they are not putting 100 percent of their firepower into power rangers because it is not their sole asset that is just a part of what pays the bills tell you the truth some of these other brands make way more money than power rangers like your nerf your transformers my little pony man of course they're pushing out more things for those brands there's just a lot of things that you have to think about with hasbro and they have a lot of good brands power rangers will get its time to shine don't think that they bought this brand just to shelve it they bought this brand because they want to sink their teeth into it and there is potential here it's just it might be a minute honestly but it's going to happen you know it's gonna happen and especially with how good of a reception once and always got the fans got to watch this and had some fun with it but what are your guys' thoughts? Let me know in the comments. Shout out all the fans out there that take the time out of their day to watch this content. You are the real MVPs and the reason why we can continue to make videos like this. So thank you guys so much, and we will see you next time. Peace. I want to give a very special shout out to the Gold Ranger members, Anime King Nick, Chaos Draco, The Arctic Operator, Dig Wyron, Roderick Hare, Miguel Ortiz, Let's Talk Sports, Papleon Oger, Roderick Ham, Jason Morazes, Willie Maloney, Louis Cairns, and Salima Ramirez. 
thank you guys so much for being a member. And if you want video shout outs like this one, sign up to become a Gold Ranger member today. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this content, you know what to do. Hit that like, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell. You can also become a member. Please join the fan club support team right now. We have a Blue Ranger power up and a Gold Ranger power up. This is an awesome way to talk with the fans. Join a fan club official chat group. You can also be featured in our videos. At the end of the videos, I will shout you out. That's if you get the Gold Ranger Power Up membership. Go check it out. Go support the fan club. We love you guys, and thanks for watching. Peace. Hi. Hi. We're Bulk and Let's Skull. Go. We, we have are been requested, requested by, by the, the fan, fan club, club to say something funny. funny.